a breakthrough in transplantology. New technology improves organ function and gives you more time. Two years ago, Swiss researchers boasted of a device that allows you to store a liver intended for transplantation for up to several days. The machine imitates the human body in the smallest detail and provides the organ with ideal conditions, which allows it to survive longer outside the body. Now the same team of researchers has reported a liver transplant stored outside the body for three days to a 62-year-old man. One year after the operation, the patient is doing well and his liver is working properly. The perfusion machine, developed by scientists at the University Hospital of Zurich, the Federal University of Technology in Zurich. WIS Zurich and the University of Zurich, mimics most of the body's basic functions. The artificial pump acts as the heart, the oxygenator replaces the lungs and ensures gas exchange. And the dialyzer acts as the kidneys. All this to ensure ideal conditions for storing organs outside the body. In January 2020, researchers showed that their perfusion technology allows the liver to be stored outside the body for several days. The device was developed as part of Liver for Life research. The work began in 2015 and used livers taken from pigs. The first versions of the machine allowed the storage of pig livers for up to 12 hours, but as research progressed, this time was significantly extended. What's more, the device can also improve the condition of the organ. In a publication published in the journal Nature Biotechnology, a team of Swiss scientists described the use of their machine in human liver transplantation. Importantly, the researchers used a liver that was deemed too damaged and unsuitable for traditional transplantation. However, a three-day treatment of the organ in a perfusion machine improved the function of the damaged liver. After treatment, the organ was transplanted to a cancer patient. One year after the operation, the patient is doing well and the transplanted liver is functioning properly. A perfusion machine developed by Swiss scientists could increase the number of livers available for transplantation. Mainly because you can store the organ much longer in it, which gives you more time to deliver it to the person in need and perform operations. However, it is also important to be able to improve the condition of the organ. The machine keeps the liver alive by pumping oxygen-rich blood through it and introducing nutrients and hormones such as insulin. It also maintains a temperature and pressure similar to that which prevails inside the human body. Scientists even took care of the appropriate movements of the device that mimic the movements of the diaphragm. In an approved individual treatment trial, researchers offered a cancer patient waiting for a transplant the opportunity to use a new technology. With his consent, he received an organ transplant in May 2021. A few days after the operation, the patient left the hospital. His transplanted liver has been working properly so far. I am very grateful for a life-saving organ. I had little chance of getting a liver from the waiting list in a reasonable amount of time, the patient admitted. First. The team of researchers spent three days preparing the liver for transplantation. In their perfusion machine, they treated the organ with various drugs and thus succeeded in transforming the liver rejected by transplantologists into an organ suitable for transplantation. Perfusion lasting several days enables, for example, antibiotic or hormonal therapy or optimization of liver metabolism. It also allows you to perform long laboratory or tissue tests without time pressure. This is not possible under normal circumstances. Currently, organ storage using commercially available perfusion machines gives approximately 12 hours of time. Our therapy shows that by treating livers in a perfusion machine,
You can alleviate the lack of functioning organs and save lives, says Professor Pierre Alain Clavian from the University Hospital of Zurich. The next step in the Liver for Life project is to demonstrate the effectiveness of the developed procedure and its safety on a larger sample. Researchers are also testing the machine's performance on other organs. We're currently doing kidney tests and it looks very good, adds Clavian. One third of the world's tree species are threatened with extinction. From mighty oaks and beautiful magnolias to tropical tree species, at least a third of wild trees are facing extinction. According to a new report, experts say up to 17,500 species of trees are threatened. This is twice as many endangered mammals, birds, amphibians and reptiles combined. Scientists call for urgent action and point out that the threats are primarily caused by deforestation, agriculture and climate change. According to the State of the World's Trees report prepared by Botanic Gardens Conservation International, a plant conservation charity with more than 800 botanical gardens in 118 countries, and specialists from the International Union for Conservation of Nature. One third of wild tree species are threatened with extinction. Clearing land for crops and livestock, and deforestation are by far the biggest threats. Commonly known trees, such as magnolias, oaks, maples and ebony trees, are most at risk. We have almost 60,000 on our planet tree species and for the first time we know which of these species require conservation action. What are the greatest threats to them and where they are located, said Dr. Malin Rivers of Botanic Gardens Conservation International, BGCI, in Kew, London. For a healthy world, we need a diversity of tree species added Sarah Oldfield of the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Each tree species has a unique ecological role to play. Because 30% of tree species in the world are threatened with extinction, we urgently need to step up conservation efforts, he added. The five-year study looked at threats to 58,497 tree species worldwide and found that 30 percent, 17,500, are at risk of extinction, and another 7 percent was considered, probably endangered. In the case of 21 percent species lacked data to assess, and just over 40 percent considered, unthreatened. The authors of the State of the World's Trees report also noted that 142 species of trees have already disappeared from the natural environment, while 442 species are on the verge of extinction and fewer than 50 individual trees remain from their population. The greatest threats to trees in the world are logging for cultivation, affects 29% of species, Logging for raw material, affects 27% of species. Cutting down forests for grazing or animal husbandry, affecting 14% of species. Cutting for development, affecting 13% of species. And fires, affecting 13% of species. Climate change. Extreme weather conditions and rising sea levels are also a major and growing threat to trees. But the document's authors say there is hope for the future with urgent action. The report gives us a roadmap to mobilize the wider conservation community and other key players to ensure that tree protection is at the forefront of the conservation agenda, said Dr. Rivers. are calling for a number of urgent actions, including preservation of existing forests and expansion of protected areas, keeping endangered species in botanic gardens or seed banks in the hope that they may one day return to the wild. Currently around 30% of species are protected in this way. All kinds of trees, 
education to ensure that reforestation and tree planting programs are conducted correctly, using scientific methods, with the right tree in the right place, including rare and endangered species. Increasing funds for tree protection. The authors of the report indicate that over the last 300 years, the area of forests in the world has decreased by about 40%. And 29 countries have lost more than 90% of their land. Its forest cover. Trees that are particularly at risk of extinction include large tropical trees of the Dipterocarpaceae family, which are being cut down en masse as a result of the expansion of oil palm plantations, oaks cut for agricultural development in parts of Mexico, Chile and Argentina. Ebony trees in Dalbergia, Rosewood, felled for timber in Madagascar, magnolia trees, trees such as ash that are dying from pests and diseases in the UK and North America. Many tree species are on the verge of extinction. Some are represented by the last living tree, said Jean Christophe Fay, Director General of the Foundation Franklinia. In the introduction to the report, he added that it is shocking that deforestation rates remain so high. Given the crucial role trees play, providing habitats for a huge proportion of the world's animals and slowing climate change by sequestering carbon and providing ingredients for medicines. Home to large tracts of rainforest that are increasingly threatened by massive agricultural expansion and logging. Brazil has the most tree species, 8,847, as well as the second highest number of endangered trees, 1,788. However, the largest proportion of endangered species is found in tropical Africa, especially on islands such as Madagascar and Mauritius, where 59% and 57% are threatened respectively. Tree species. The report found that forest ecosystems can collapse when subjected to multiple stressor, such as fire, logging and habitat destruction. These factors can interact and drive abrupt ecological change. The climate crisis must also be taken into account. Climate change could become a major driver of the collapse of most if not all types of forest ecosystems, said Adrian Newton of Bournemouth University, quoted in the report. The impacts of a changing climate and severe weather, listed as a direct threat to more than a thousand species, include changing habitats, increasing storms and flooding, as well as more fires, pests and diseases. Botanists describe trees as the backbone of a natural ecosystem. Although only 0.2% of the population has gone extinct so far. Tree species. The authors of the report say further extinction could have a knock-on effect. People are directly affected by the loss of carbon sequestration, oxygen production, wood for construction. Ingredients for medicines and food, buffers against storms, and the prosperity that comes from shade and beauty. Probably more important is the indirect impact on natural life support systems. In many parts of the world, trees are the pillars of a healthy ecosystem. Without them, other plants, insects, birds and mammals will struggle to survive. Tree species that have evolved over millions of years to adapt to a changing climate can no longer cope with threats from humans. How short-sighted are we to allow the loss of tree species on which global society depends ecologically and economically? If only we could learn to respect trees. Many environmental challenges would undoubtedly benefit greatly, Vi said. Trees are essential. It's like a Jenga tower. Pull the wrong block and the ecosystem will fall apart. When I look at these numbers, I feel we need to act now, Rivers said.